There was more drama in Daytona today. I'll get to that in just a bit. But first, the Fox 5 sports crew has made it down to the World Center of Racing, where things are looking a little bit different since our last trip there. Cody Chaffins is down in Daytona and has more on some of the changes to the track. Marissa, here we are at Daytona International Speedway. A beautiful site and a different site from what we saw when we were here last year. This place is growing a lot. The Daytona Rising Project is a $400 million project that's building new stands here at Daytona International Speedway. Eventually, there'll be over 100,000 seats here, and they're calling it a Coliseum of Motorsports. And even this year, we will have 40,000 seats of those new seats being used, and that also includes the wider concourses behind and the new concession stands for fans. And those fans will start pouring in tomorrow for the Budweiser duels. The twin races determine the starting order for the Daytona 500, and that's everybody, of course, behind the front row. The front row will be Jimmy Johnson and his Hendrick teammate, Jeff Gordon. Gordon's number 24 right there, qualified first on Sunday, so that's assuming they don't go to a backup car. This car will be on the pole for Sunday's Daytona 500. And then, of course, all the emotion of, of you know, the announcement. I made you know to start the season on this my last Daytona 500. This is uh, this is a very special day. And I know what you're going to say, Marissa. Look at him in his short sleeves bragging. It is 62 here in Daytona, and a wind makes it a little chilly. But I'll take it over the last couple days at home at the World Center Racing. Cody Chaffins, Fox 5 Sports. All right. And